Recently, The Weeknd released his new music video, Save Your Tears, and Abel looks a hot mess. I mean, through the special effects makeup and the creepiness of the video, but a good 80s nostalgia song, I had a lot to think about, but I was intrigued. And also, while watching the video, I saw some PR lessons that can help your business if you're about to do a PR or marketing campaign. So grab you a cup of whatever and stay tuned. If you've been here before, welcome back. But if you're new, welcome to Coffee with me, myself, and Ivy, where I give social media tips, communication industry best practices with pop culture examples. Before I share three PR lessons from The Weeknd's new music video, let's start off with a motivational quote. Stop making excuses. You're the only one stopping you, Issa Rae. Now, a disclaimer. Again, I'm gonna talk about this music video, but I'm gonna talk about the PR lessons within my discussion. But if you want a more in-depth review, check out this video over here. I like his thoughts, check it out. So Save Your Tears is from The Weeknd's After Hours album. Many people like it. The music video is very creepy, but the song is giving me 80s nostalgia. And I love The Weeknd. I didn't say that at the beginning, but I love him. He's my favorite emo R&B pop star. And he always has me in my feelings, but he didn't disappoint this time as well. I like the song, but the video was like, a little bit much but then again i like the paranormal so i was like okay let me just pay attention to what's going on so the number one thing in the video that's grabbing everyone's attention is the weekend's facial appearance now i must say during this recent album the weekend has usually been wearing some type of bandage i just got beat up in vegas look but this time it looks like he just got fresh you know surgery done he got his lips plumped and he's on stage about to go to his vegas show and I'm like, okay, the weekend, okay. Like, what grabbed my attention about this is I originally saw a screenshot of the weekend on the shade room, and that made me go watch his video. It grabbed my attention, which leads me to PR lesson one. If you're doing a PR or marketing campaign, make sure the tactics are attention grabbing. Now, if you're doing a campaign and you actually sit down and plan it out, I'm so proud of you. But sometimes when we plan things, we just get so caught up on the strategies, the goals, the objectives, etc. When we get to the tactics, we're like, we're going to do an event. We're going to do something with social media. We're going to do this. However, we don't make sure these tactics are attention grabbing to our audience. So just like with the weekend's special effects makeup, make sure the tactics you have will grab your audience attention. I don't care if it's visuals. I don't care if it's the messaging with certain keywords. I don't care if it's a spokesperson. Make sure it's attention grabbing. Okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's the next day and originally I was going to talk about the part in the video where there's one unmasked lady in the crowd that The weekend decides to pull from the crowd and dance with her and she actually engages with it and is enjoying the song and him serenading her versus the eyes wide shut masquerade people looking creepy in the crowd. And originally I was going to do audience engagement. No, I'm going to give you some more in-depth advice. PR lesson two. A two-way communication model is always better. And you're probably like, what does that mean, Ivy? Well, what I'm really talking about is a two-way symmetrical model where it's a mutual understanding between you and your audience. Gone are the days where you can just put something out there and expect your audience to do what you want. That doesn't happen anymore. There's always gonna be customer feedback. So two-way communication is always best. Sometimes to do two-way communication is ongoing research. Like while The weekend was dancing around that creepy crowd, he noticed no one was engaging, but he saw this one person. He decided to dance with her. You probably gonna have to do some ongoing research as well. You are probably gonna have to survey your customers, maybe do a poll, maybe do a quiz. But this way, you know you're being effective with your messaging to make sure you know what your audience wants. So just like The weekend dancing with this girl before I get to the next lesson, which shaking my head just like the weekend dance with this girl and realize she was enjoying the music and enjoying this 80s nostalgia song you need to make sure you're doing two-way communication models in your PR or marketing plan to make sure it's a mutual understanding of what you're trying to put out there and what the audience actually wants. Now we're at the part in the video where it goes from creepy but oh you got somebody to dance with you to what are you doing? So while he's dancing with the young lady, he has a gun behind his back. And 
heads up, everything turns out to be okay towards the end, but it stressed the young lady out when she found out he had a gun and he is interesting. Go watch the video. Please go watch the video. However, this brings me to PR lesson three. Please be ethical. If you know there's something in your PR campaign that may not be good for your audience, AKA the weekend has a gun behind his back while he's dancing with a young lady from the crowd. You should probably do some reevaluation, talk to whoever you need to talk to that has power. But please, if there's something unethical in your upcoming campaign, please stop that and try to be ethical because yes, you're looking out for your company. Yes, you're looking out for yourself, but you need to look out for your audience. It's up to you to have the best interest of not only your company, but your audience. So what did you think of the music video? Please leave your thoughts below in the comments. And thank you for watching this video. Make sure you join me every week for social media tips, communication industry best practices with pop culture examples. Remember, keep your